Bah, get on there. Get on there. There we go. Oops, watch your fingers. Hello. This time on Crash Test Dummy TV. <laughs> Hello. All right. Today, I am going to pull apart my air filter because I have been requested uh, to show how I put it together, how I assembled it on the bike, or how I mounted it. A um, couple of interested parties out there, these guys, that uh, yeah, they want to know. Uh, oh, pardon me. They want to know how I did it so they can do it on theirs. Anyway, let's pull it to bits. Easy, easy, easy to pull apart. Alright, first bolt off, cover plate and air filter at the same time. Now, what I did was, I tuned it myself actually. This here, just a strip of uh, aluminium, you know, very thin. Um, just aluminium plate. I don't know where I got it from, but it was a strip. I don't think I cut it, but I may have cut it. Yeah, I did cut it. There's an edge just there. Um, so yeah, you may have to cut it to the right size. But the reason I did this is because air boxes exist on a volume. Um, they're set up or dynoed from the factory this way. And obviously if you alter it in any way, increase the size, open holes, take your air box out, put pods on, it's going to upset all that. Now rather than go get this dynode, um, I cheated. <laughs> As you can see this uh, aluminium has been folded over a little bit. Now what I did was, I uh, wrapped it right around and left a little hole. And then I went for a ride and just kept on opening it up until it was roughly, you know, performing right through the revs. Uh, idling and acceleration. So, hmm. That's why I did that. It's approximately, if you look at that where my fingertips are, it's approximately that far around. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. <laughs> anyway, uh, now let's get into this. What I will need is some tools. I need an Allen key, uh, the standard mount plate for the, uh, the right hand I'm not, uh, yeah, it might be the horn. I think the horn was on this side. There was a pod on both sides. Um, I ditched everything, as you can see. One pod was an air filter. The other pod was a tool carrier. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, get some tools. Right, now. Alright, mount is off. Uh, flathead. Now it should just come off. There we go. Now, what it is. A little bit dirty in there. Not too bad. Now these tubes are available for turbos, uh, for cars. Uh, I'll put up on the screen what it is. That's what it is. And works perfect here it went straight on to the uh, the standard um, uh, standard mount um, and then from that I got a section of uh, exhaust pipe that fit on the inside um, cut the exhaust pipe into wedges like this just to allow you know sidewards um, suction um, because obviously when this is all covered over that's where your inlet is you know, those fins so you're gonna to have to cut some sort of access whether it's I mean this this was easy you when know, I cut cut done that's why I did it that way um, make sure you you know file down your edges so they don't scratch now I did not paint this so I purposely didn't paint it because I didn't think it would rust um, looks like it is a little so I might uh, I'd actually give that a spray before I put it back on hmm now, as far as this exhaust pipe, that fit beautifully inside by itself. It's not clamped on. It is clamped on once this is clamped on. 
um, yeah, to make sure obviously you're holding the body and that sort of thing. Oh, that's right, yes, sorry. This went inside here, and then the exhaust pipe went inside here. So the exhaust pipe you don't want for the uh, rubber size. You can, but uh, I found it easier just to go like that. I mean, originally I did have it like this, um, just put it on, but the clamp on the back and the, the nature of the chrome here, it just, it actually popped out on the uh, on the bottom or edge or whichever it was and then uh, started sucking. So with the exhaust pipe uh, pushed in there as well, ah, get in there. Yeah, anyway, with the exhaust pipe pushed in there as well, it covers up these slits and that's where I was getting my sucking from when it did uh, come off that time, uh, when I didn't have the exhaust. So the exhaust seals it up and helps clamp it all on. So that's pretty much it. The bracket, obviously, I just had a, a bit of stainless steel plate lying around, bend it up, three angles, straight on, done. Oh, and screwed straight into the back. Uh, I did use rubber uh, washers on these screws uh, just to make sure that there was going to be no suction from the outside. So that's all it is. Simple as that. Uh, these air filters are Speco brand. Uh, not sure if they're Australian only, um, but when I put this video up, I will do some research and I will find out where they're available from, in what countries. Groovy. Anyway, I'm going to clean all this and put it back together in a second. Cool. In three, two, one. All right, we're back. Everything's clean and I'm ready to go. Now. One thing I did notice on here, I had a little bit of the uh, the skin of rubber, because obviously it's, uh, as you can see, it's layered, oh, but me, as you can see, it's layered with rubber and uh, cord. I'd say it's nylon cord to be strong. Um, it is for turbos, so it's got to allow for, you know, bloating. Um, yeah, it's starting to peel off a little bit on the edge. So if that is happening, I'd recommend a cigarette lighter just to get rid of all the fur because that may stop you from uh, sealing it properly. So if you do have a little bit of fur there, just grab a cigarette lighter. Um, now on the outside, I didn't get a black one, they didn't have black, they only had blue and a few other colours, yellow and so on. Um, electrical tape, wound around, simple, it's black, done easy anyway <clears throat> let's put it back together that's my thing now on the exhaust thing I opted to uh, give it a polish with metal polish just to get rid of that alloy I mean that uh, rust um, and hopefully that metal polish will give it a little bit of a uh, kind of a protective coating I hope let's see what happens anyway get on come on on nice shiny thing I just clamp <laughs> get it right fingerprints all right you go on there with the mount up there now this bit you're gonna make sure it goes on properly. And before you put the bolts, well, before you tighten the top up, you can put the bolts in there, but uh, don't tighten it up yet. Alright. <coughs> Flathead. Tighten you up. Try and put it as close as you can to the body of the, uh, the backing plate. Oh, come on, turn around. 
and that'll help seal it and hold it on. Alright, it's nice and tight. And it looks like it's on there okay, I think. No, that might be on an angle. I can't get in there because I've got the bloody helmet on. Cool. Uh, tighten these up. Cool. What's next? Now my air filter, the bonus of having a really huge air filter is you get to turn it around every now and then because now it's sucking through a clean bit. <laughs> so you really get your money's worth. Make sure the plate's in there. Now I turn mine down, the opening, purely because uh, I was sort of down backwards. I don't want to do uh, when I'm washing the bike or when I'm riding in the rain. I don't necessarily want to uh, get my air filter filled up with uh, water or coated with water. Cool. And what I do with my thing. <laughs> Just stick it in the Y, the Yamaha. <laughs> cool, all done. So that is my air filter. Now the bonus there makes it look older. That's what I wanted to achieve. The air filter itself is uh, used for the old 1960s, 70s uh, type motors. Um, Holdens and... and Fords and so forth over here in Australia. So yeah, it is still available. It's brand new. Uh, and yeah, like I say, I'll I'll let you know if well, where what countries it sells in, if it sells in other countries. And this radio, they're shitting me. I hate it when they talk. Cool. So that's about it. Just a quick video, this one. Uh, just a mod on an air filter. Quite simple. The way I like doing things is just to keep it simple. I don't want to overcomplicate anything. Um, give me any bike stock standard. I'll pull all the bits off that don't need to be there. Make it lighter, more appealing visually, etc, etc. Just a quick note. This modification I did about five years. But anyway, this is four or five years old, and uh, as far as condition, it's it's going all right. It's actually the same air filter from four or five years ago, um, because I'm able to turn around. It's it's nice and handy. Uh, but yeah, I do need to buy a new air filter very soon. So, long-term test, it's passed. Cool, groovy. All right. Hope your project's going well. If not shoot me a message <laughs> two heads are better than one um cool all right ride safe out there i'll speak to you all soon bye Yeah. Ah.